What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Radiohead. Yes, indeed. Radiohead fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Jason Schaff, and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 39% of the vote. It was close. Uh, but it, it won and it moved from 720 in the queue straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this song. It is Radiohead with a tune called The National Anthem. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you, with you guys. This was posted by BBC Music, okay? And the video has 505,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Radiohead, the national anthem, Reading of Leeds 2009. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. To help people be successful. And I've been fortunate in my life to have had, 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 It's not bad. I'm at I I <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it. 
it, it's a little avant-garde. I'm not going to lie, man. It, it's a little out there, but I, I, I'm digging the groove. I'm definitely digging the groove. It has a nice groove established. Um, the keyboard player, I, I don't know what that is that he keeps picking up. It looks... I know it isn't, but it looks like a CB radio box. It, it does, but I, I know it's not. But uh, I, I love. I mean, here's what here's what I'm saying though. I love the fact that he's picking it up and utilizing it as a prop. He's not just standing in front of his piano and you know messing with the dials and the knobs in front of it. No, he's actually picking it up like a guitar and utilizing it like a weapon. I mean, in, in, in like like an actual prop and utilizing it to help put on a good stage show. I like that. I think it's a very smart approach. Um, the one guitar player over on stage right with the with the Floyd Rose tremolo, man, just making that thing work. <laughs> Love that. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not criticizing that at all. I, I think that's great. Um, now, overall, I, I've, I've, I've enjoyed everything I've heard so far. Is it me? Or does this song sound like something like if you were to close your eyes for it, it? Okay. Let's say you didn't know this was Radiohead. Like, like I, like if I, if I did not know that for a fact that I was listening to a Radiohead song, if I were to just hear this song on the radio and I have no idea who it is, you know who the first band that comes to mind is? I, I don't know about Jane's Addiction, but Porno for Pyros, sort of sort of it has that same kind of a feel um and the vocal approach as well a very uh perry farrell approach with the vocals and I, i'm not saying it is I, i'm not saying it's perry farrell but it the approach is um a lot of the scoop ins a lot of the uh sub harmonics happening within the nasal within the nasal cavity within the sinuses it, on purpose he, i'm not uh, that's not a that's not a blemish against against Tom York. I'm just saying he's doing that intentionally to get that type of a tone, that type of a sound, and it's it's very Perry Farrellish. It, it, it maybe I'm wrong. It, call me crazy, but I I that's that's the vibe I'm getting. Anyway, let's let's keep going here.
Nice job. Nice job overall. Um, I don't really have any complaints about this. It, it felt good. It sounded good. It looked good. Um, yeah, so uh, here's the thing, though. <laughs> I pretty much talked about everything I wanted to talk about during the course of the reaction, so I don't have a whole lot to say. Uh, so this is going to probably be a pretty short review. So let me get my thoughts together just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Radiohead with the National Anthem. This was a request from Jason Schaff, and it was also the winner of the Patreon Request Partization Poll, winning with 39% of the vote. It was close, but they did get the win, uh, moving it from number 720 in the queue straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Okay, um, I thought about it, and honestly, I, I said everything I need to say during the course of the reaction. So I'm going to hit a couple bullet points just to kind of reinforce the things I said, and we're going to call it a day because there, there really isn't a whole lot to talk about. Uh, I'm going to start off with the rating, as always. Out of a possible five stars, I am going to give that four stars. Yep. Four to five stars. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Um. Overall, I, I I really enjoyed this. I did. Believe it or not, I'm not. <laughs> Radiohead is probably the most polarizing group that I've ever had on the channel. They have had eights and nines before I switched to the star rating, <laughs> and. and uh, they've had extremely high scores and they've also had extremely low scores and all points in between uh they are probably one of the most diverse bands i've seen on the channel when it comes to scores that they get anywhere from the twos and threes all the way up to the eights and nines so it's 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 hard to say where we're gonna go with this uh whatever we have a radiohead song on the channel i i never know what to expect and I think the best thing I can do when it comes to Radiohead songs is to have no expectations at all. And I think that helps. I think it definitely helps. Um, as far as this song goes, I dug it. I dug the tune. It had a really nice groove attached to it. It was at a really nice tempo. It had a really nice amount of drive and energy to it. It definitely had light. It wasn't one of those droning on songs that I've heard from, let's be honest, I've heard from Radiohead in the past. Well, this song had life without question. Um, I love the usage of, uh, I don't know what that was that the keyboard was. It looked like a CB radio box, but I know it wasn't. Uh, I'm not really sure what it was, but uh, it, it was really nice. And the reason I'm saying the usage is not so much of what he did with it from a playing standpoint, from, from a tonal or a, an audio standpoint, but the fact that he was actually taking it off the shelf or picking it up off the ground and utilizing it in a as a prop as a as a piece of equipment as a weapon in the battle to put on the best show possible and i appreciate that i mean yeah it's a little box with an antenna but he was still making it interesting to watch um and i i gotta give him all the props in the world for that along with his keyboard playing sounded really nice uh the guitar playing from both tom and for the other guitar player really nice job on both of them uh, the guitar player on over on stage right utilizing his, his Floyd Rose tremolo system to the very uh, best that he could, uh, making that thing sing. It, it, really nice. And a very nice ethereal effect to the overall song and, and the overall presentation. Um, I could hear the bass clear as day. I could hear the drums clear as day. Obviously, I could hear the drums clear as day. But it was nice to hear the bass player clear as day in a live setting in an outdoor venue. Um, and it, it sounded really good. Both of them locked in together, established a really nice groove with the song. Had no issue with anything they were doing. Vocally, um, the, the vocals were nice. I, I, I will say the vocals were nice. Probably the least impressive part of the, of the song, if I'm being honest. But it, it they still added and they still contributed in a very positive way. So I, I, I have no complaints about anything that Tom York did with his vocals. Uh, it, 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 what he did sounded just fine and it fit the context of the song. Um, now, overall, I, I thought it was a really nice job on the song. 
And uh, the live performance, I, I gotta say, it, it was a little surprising. Tom was very animated, very animated. Way more animated than I'm used to seeing him. Um, I I interacting with the crowd, putting on a great show, very, very fluid and, and big, grandiose emotions with his hands, drawing attention to himself, which is great. Uh, he's the front man, so obviously he should be doing that. Uh, but everybody in the band was moving around. Everybody in the ground, everybody in the band was engaging. Um, I didn't see any stage interaction. I never saw any of the members interact with each other. But there was some stage inter not not stage there was some crowd interaction, uh, in particular from Tom. So that was nice. Uh, that out of, the, out of the five things I look for in a live stage show, that's the most important. So let's just go down the checklist really quick. Stage presence, yeah, check. Stage energy, yeah, it was there, check. Stage interaction, no, unfortunately we didn't have any of that, but we did have we did have crowd interaction, and we had some showmanship. So four out of five. You know what? That's that's not a bad way to go, especially if you hit the most important one to me, which is crowd interaction. So really nice live performance overall and production. Now here's where they're gonna make up some points. That 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 stage rig that got up there with all of the graphic poles, all, all the digital graphic poles. That was really interesting. Uh, I wasn't sure what those were at first. I thought maybe they were just made out of like, you know, some sort of an acrylic, uh, like a clear acrylic. and. They were taking the light from the stage and kind of, uh, you know, prisming it or something like that. But no, they're all LED digital displays. And I was like, that's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So that was really nice. It, it was something nice to see uh, something new that I've never seen before. And they, whoever was uh, programming those things did a fine job. So really nice production on top of it. So overall, I think it was a great job, and that's why I'm giving it the great rating of four out of five stars. I feel good with that rating, and that's where we're gonna stay. So, four out of five stars, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.